chaos that erupted yesterday afternoon in the middle of Miramar Parkway. That uh, shootout killing at least four people. The police chief here in Coral Gables says the street lighting will go on as scheduled. And they are assuring everyone who is coming in attendance there will be extra security. We just wanted to make sure that uh, everybody understood that uh, we are always prepared for the visitors and we are always prepared for the unknown. That's just what police departments are supposed to do. Chief of Police Ed Hudak addressing concerns over tonight's tree lighting after two thieves robbed a Coral Gables jewelry store of cash, watches, and jewelry, leading police on a chase over two counties. I see the truck flying this way, and then behind him I see about like 500 police. The men forcing 27 year old UPS driver Frank Ordonez to be their getaway driver. He, along with the two gunmen and an innocent bystander, were killed on Miramar Parkway during a shootout with police. <laughs> Ordonez's stepfather speaking on behalf of his family. He had a three and five year old daughter he's leaving behind. Uh, always a smile, never lost his temper. This is devastating. This is something that. I have no words yet. I, I, I don't know what to say anymore. We've learned at least 19 officers fired back. That includes 13 Miami-Dade officers. Police have not confirmed if their gunfire killed the UPS driver or the other innocent bystander. Miami-Dade Police Director Juan Perez is defending the actions of his officers. Officers don't move forward towards the gunfire. Not too far from that location, north of there, we saw what happened when an officer didn't move forward. Perez. Perez says the mass shooting in Parkland is an example of why officers moved toward danger, even in broad daylight near people. And as you can see, there is extra security out here tonight for this tree lighting schedule to go on in the next hour or so. Meanwhile, Coral Gables police chief did not comment on yesterday's incident. He said it's on the hands of the FBI. For now, we're in Coral Gables. Amber Diaz, CBS 4 News. Amber, thank you so much.